Oh, little camp is a little bit messy. I think if I would do the trip again, maybe I would even get a bigger tent. <laughs> Okay, I better leave him for a little bit longer. Thank you, sweetheart. A few moments later. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Good morning, Bumblebee. We are here in the city of Pompeii in Italy, and we're just having our breakfast inside the tent because there are so many mosquitoes everywhere. And we picked up some really nice Italian cheese from the supermarket. They actually had the cheese in like giant wheels. So you know that it's like really, really good cheese. And then we have some breed cheese as well. Yesterday we had a sightseeing day and we visited the ancient ruins of Pompeii. But I'll tell you guys more about that when we hit the road. So let me show you where we're heading today. So we are here and today we are heading past the city of Naples to a small town called Cereto Laziale, somewhere around here, just outside of Rome. We're heading to Cereto Laziale because our good friend Giulio is living there and it's right next to Rome. So we're going to be spending the weekend with him, seeing all the amazing sights that Rome has to offer. Yes, it's about a four hour ride to the town and we still have to pick up everything. It's already 11 o'clock, so better hit the road. Let's go. Guys, I don't know what's happening here, but they really love all these boots. That is absolutely a disaster. Look at that. Oh no, they're like everywhere. So Forma apparently ants really love the design of your boots. Yeah, very tasty boots apparently. I don't even know how to get them out to be honest. Yeah, maybe your idea is good. Maybe we put like a piece of cheese just next to the boots and then they'll all come out. Should we try that? I have cookies. Okay, so here's the cookie trail leading out the boot towards the cookie mecca. Come on guys, out you come. Mmm, tasty cookies, mmm, come on. Mmm, that's really nice. 20 minutes later. So it's not really working fast enough, so I'm gonna take some salt and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all inside the boots so that it's very like salty. And then they're gonna be like, ew, salty. And then they're gonna leave. Do you think salt helps as well for really smelly boots? Might do. I don't know what it will do to the boots. <laughs> I want them to think that it's a really terrible place to be. They gotta get out of here. So we'll leave them there for a minute. Five minutes later. Okay, so it's mostly gone now. There's still a few of them running around but it's about as good as we can get i reckon so the rest of them are just gonna have to be squished sorry guys oh let's see if we can turn it on after a, <gasps> oh, no. a day off Shit. no we can't unfortunately it's dead Shit. again okay let me try one more time yeah. nope oh damn it yeah we just got all our gear on okay well we're gonna have to go and ask somebody then, hey? Found someone! Okay, that's it. Okay, yep, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, yeah, hold that there. Okay. Come on, Bumblebee, it's not that long anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay alive. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Nice. All right, there we go. Small hiccup in the morning, but we can hit the road. Yeah. I say the morning, what time is it? Oh, uh, it's 12 o'clock probably. 
I think it's nearly 12 o'clock. Yeah. But anyway, guys, this uh, camping here is super cool called uh, Spartacus Camping Bungalows. You just walk across the road here and there are the ruins of Pompeii. Yeah, pretty much the entrance to Pompeii is here. These are the ruins right yeah. up on this hill. Yeah, exactly. That's how close this place is. How cool is that, hey? But we are going on this road here towards Napoli, Roma. <laughs> is this the right one? No, it's probably not the right one, is it? Is it automatic or is it with a I person? No. Please insert card as shown. Oh, there you go. Done. Okay. So here we can see in front Mount Vesuvius. The main reason why Pompeii is still visible today. Because just under 2,000 years ago, this volcano erupted and completely engulfed the city of Pompeii, covering it in a huge layer of ash and pumice. The city was then buried and because of subsequent eruptions in I think 500 AD, the city was then further buried and further buried to the point where people forgot that it even existed. Can you believe it? A whole perfectly function city suddenly totally forgotten it's absolutely crazy so for nearly a thousand years nobody even remembered the name Pompeii or that there was even a city there it was just a f sort of countryside land just a hill you yeah. couldn't see any of the ruins yeah and then one day I think in the 1500s they were digging to do some construction to build some sort of underground aqueduct system and they came across the ancient walls of the city but it took hundreds of years and it wasn't really until the late 1700s and the 1800s that they really started to excavate the site and really realize what they had there and what they have there is really one of the most incredible Roman sites in the world a huge city of at the time 11,000 people entirely preserved all the streets all the houses all the bakeries the laundrettes pretty much everything that you needed to run a city all of these buildings are preserved and they're preserved to such an amazing detail you can even still see the frescoes the paintings on the walls of the people's houses you can see all of the mosaic flooring so when you're like walking on the streets of Pompeii it feels like you're just walking in a normal city but actually nobody's been living there for like 2,000 years wow really a goosebumps place for sure yeah I mean we'd seen Roman ruins in different places so far like in Pamukkale but this was just Roman ruins on a massive scale there was a 20,000 seater amphitheater there was a marketplace there were temples yeah it was just so interesting to see how advanced the Romans were like they had entertainment they had like restaurants they had bakeries you know they had like laundries we could read on one side they talked about how they did their laundry and apparently they used um, pee yeah they used pee in a big bath where then the slaves apparently stepped on the clothes because the pier was apparently very good to remove all the dirt from the clothes can you believe it <laughs> it was really 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 cool to walk around there i think we walked in total 12 kilometers just up and down the streets and you know what the most incredible thing about it is this is absolutely crazy but the people who stayed and got caught in the big pyroclastic flow that came down from Vesuvius on the second day of the eruption, these people were completely preserved in exactly the positions that they died in in their last moments. The pyroclastic flow apparently came at 70, 80 kilometers per hour through the city and the people were effectively preserved in the ash. And then over time, their body decayed and the bones decayed. But what was left was basically a hole which was exactly the outline of their body. And the first archaeologists that were excavating the site, they noticed that there was sort of these cavities as they were digging down. But at first they didn't realize what it was. But then one really clever archaeologist, he realized that these were the outlines of the bodies preserved in the ash. So his idea was to then inject plaster into the cavity 
trees and then they got rid of the ash all around and what was left was a perfectly preserved outline of the body and you could see everything the faces the clothes they were wearing and the positions that they were in yeah it was really hard touching actually because you could see um, families as well like there was one example of a mom holding a baby or we saw other people with um, jars of food or anything like this in their hands so frozen in time it's incredible yeah that whole place is just a perfectly preserved frozen in time moment from AD 79 and when you're walking through those streets you really feel like you're transported back there it was a really really special place to visit yes of all sites we have visited on this trip I think this is number one for me and I'm not even that interested in the Roman Empire <laughs> <laughs> so for now we're just going to be following this highway for the next 100 miles before turning off onto some smaller roads heading into the countryside for the beautiful little town of Cerreto Laziale Wow, I just checked the prices inside here in, at the rest area and it's like easily 10 euro and more for a meal so I bought some baguette which was like 2 euro 50 and some Italian mortadella mortadella bologna bologna <laughs> and then anyway we still have some cheese left over as well so we would just have a picnic outside here yummy mm, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> That's not a baby belly, that's a biker belly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even close my trousers anymore. Oh. <laughs> Do you think we have too much cheese? <laughs> okay, after the trip, we're gonna stop eating cheese for a bit and we have to start working out. Well, I had no idea, but here in Italy, they have like two different prices for fuel, depending on whether you fill it up yourself or if somebody else fills it up for you, which they call like servicio. So it's like one euro 94 per liter if you do it yourself or two euros 21 if they do it for you. Isn't that crazy, hey? That is absolutely crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I mean, is it really worth that much for them to fill it up for you? Well, we can do it by ourselves, eh? Absolutely. Or can we? I already have somebody <laughs> to fill it up for me. For free. I think last time we actually went to that one by accident. Yeah. So I think we actually overpaid by a lot without realizing it. 30 euro, hey? Jeez. All right, we are coming off of the highway. So now let's take on some nice, Italian countryside roads. Italy is beautiful, so so beautiful. Look at that, hey? Wow, yeah, this is a really nice area. Yeah. Just beautiful winding roads and the hills and loads of olive trees. Look at all these olive trees. Actually, we have yet to have olives here. Yeah, I don't know. In my mind, I knew Italy is beautiful, but I didn't expect this, you know, I wasn't prepared for so much beauty.
Hey guys, Editing Ollie here. Whilst we bask in the beauty of rural Italy, I wanted to tell you guys about this video sponsor, On Vacation Doctor, and their super handy app for people traveling the world like us. The On Vacation Doctor app connects you to top English speaking doctors in any country in the entire world, including here in Italy with over a thousand doctors in the Naples region alone. Just put in your location and this app provides you with the name, location and phone number of the closest English speaking doctor to you. It also provides local ambulance, fire and police numbers as well as the local US Embassy address and phone number. But the awesome thing about this app is that it's absolutely free to use for the first six months and then only $4.99 for the next six months. So super helpful and super affordable. Show your support for our sponsor by downloading the app for free today by clicking the link in the description below. Now back to the video. I nearly forgot to tell you guys about Giulio, the guy we're meeting in Sereto Laziale, where he lives. So we met Giulio in 2019 in New Zealand whilst walking the Te Araroa Trail. So that's the 3000 kilometer trail that runs from the north of the North Island to the south point of the South Island. Yes, and it took us like five and a half months to walk it. So we were like walking, camping, walking, camping, all day long yeah and Giulio was one of the awesome people that we met during that trail he was hiking the trail we both finished like within a few days of each other and we had a big celebration at the end yes and since this actually Giulio invited us like two or three times a year to come and visit him in Italy <laughs> I don't know why but we always had to miss it because we weren't close enough or we had other plans or whatever reason yeah even in our trip around Europe in the camper van we didn't come to Italy and every time Giulio was messaging us and he was always disappointed <laughs> that we never made it to him exactly we are finally here Giulio what do you think we've made it finally <laughs> It's so cool, really, really cool. But Giulio is such an awesome guy and it was so nice walking with him, camping with him along the way. He even wrote a book about the trail. Yeah, it is an Italian, but it's really cool because he studied philosophy. So it's really, really nice just to talk to him, you know, because he has a lot of ideas. He's a really, really creative person. So it's going to be really cool to spend the next few days together and explore this beautiful area with a beautiful old friend. And get a shower and a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cerreto Laziale. Well, look at this town. It's like right on the edge of a cliff. Like so many towns here in Italy, hey? <laughs> yeah. They seem to like building towns on the edge of cliffs. They're like, yeah. I don't like the flatter land. I like the good, nice of you. <laughs> I'm sorry if my Italian accent offends anyone. <laughs> wow, look at this area. Incredible. Such a nice place Giulio lives in. Wow. Giulio has sorted us out with an Airbnb for the weekend. So here we go. This is Piazza Monte Ruffo. Okay. And uh, apparently we are meeting him somewhere here. Okay, cool. Look at that, hey, what a nice place. We can wait uh, there. Uh, okay. okay. Cool. It's a castle. It's a tower. It's a tower. It's That's cool. After dinner, we then go to see. Nice. Yeah, just the old part of the oh, nice. Okay. 70 years old Vespa, look at that. Yeah, yeah, come, come here. Oh my. Oh my. Oh wow. Yeah, it's really Wow. This is 
This is what we want to be riding around Italy on. Molto <laughs> bella. Wow, look at this place. Here is the owner. Ciao ciao! Ciao ciao! <laughs> and look at the view out of the window. Look at this. Wow, wow, wow. And it's got like marble window sills. Ciao ciao! Ciao ciao! Ciao ciao! Ciao ciao! Ciao ciao! This place is beautiful. Wow! Yes. You are the owner of Cerreto. You are like yeah. the, the Pope. Exactly, we owe. Fratelli e sorelle, brother and sister. And it's not only the bedroom, but it's like a whole apartment. Look, look, look. It's got a whole kitchen. What is this? Oh! Could do some it's sewing. Really, really some really really sewing? Yeah. But Giulio says that we're not going to have to use the kitchen because his mother is here. Yes. Oh. Mother is going to cook. cook uh, we don't because need. you are in the counter of the food, you know. Okay. And uh, you are my host. I'm my so mother excited. Host, my family host. <laughs> so we had really, really good hands here in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> How do they do like this? Un bacio. Un bacio. Un bacio. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. Ci vediamo la prossima volta! <laughs> <laughs>